Hey everyone, what's up? Today I'm gonna share with you three simple ways to create your own color palette using Inkscape. Now Inkscape provides us with many predefined color palettes. You can see them here. Go to view and swatches. And you can see there are many color palettes here. You can also check color palettes here by clicking this small arrow and here is the list of color palettes that Inkscape provides us. Okay, but let's see how to create our own. So Inkscape color palettes are saved in palette folder. Okay, so where is this palette folder? If you're a window user, you can go to C drive, then program files, Inkscape, share, palettes okay and if you are mac and linux user then you can see the path of this folder in the description below so check it out and remember inkscape color palettes are saved as .gpl files okay also known as gimp palette so now let's create our own palettes so there are three ways to do this first one is to select every color manually and for this you're supposed to create objects with colors of your choice so let's say for example i want to create a color palette of four colors so i would just make four objects it can be anything i'm using rectangles here and fill them with the colors of your choice so okay so if i save this file as a .gpl then it will have uh, so our color palette will have these four colors if your object has strokes let's say this sorry sorry let's say your object has some stroke then the stroke color will also be saved as a separate color in your palette and another th important thing that if you are adding gradient to your objects then each color stop will be saved in your palette as a separate color so let me show you what i mean here if i add gradient to this object then every color gradient stop will be a separate color of your palette so now this object has three color stops so each color stop will be there in our color palette so just let's save it now as a .gpl file in your palette folder let's create let's name it basic okay basic color is already there very basic and save as type .gpl and then all you have to do is restart your Inkscape and now if you go to swatches you can see your color palette is there see very basic colors <laughs> second way is pretty straightforward so it's just to use your own or even someone else's dot as with your drawings and then save them as dot gpl okay so i can import any previously created dot svg file let's say this one and if it has vector objects in it like this now this is a group of 250 objects you can see here so these are vector objects so i can save this directly as dot gpl if... so i'm saving it in this palette folder as dot joker dot gpl and again restart my inkscape and we can see the joker palette is here see all right so what to do if you have image which is not a vector okay so i mean dot png or dot jpg file which you got from some website or poster 
and you want to create a palette so using colors from it so the third way is for that so you can do it by importing that photo let's say this hope poster so now if i want to create a color palette which contains this colors so there is a way to do this select your image go to path and click on trace bitmap and select these colors and you can choose this number of scans depending upon how many numbers uh, sorry how many colors you want in your palette so let's say for example if i choose only two you can see only two colors are selected so let me choose nine colors i don't think there are nine colors in it but still okay so if i hit okay i you can see i i've got a vectorized version of this image i can get rid of this image and now you know what to do just go to file save as and just save it as .gpl file as usual and again restart the inkscape and you can see here our hope post of color palette is ready so hope you like this video don't forget to check out other videos on my channel see you next time